you've heard of it. Like, on TV or something. At this point, I think we're all pretty much at saturation on climate change. The past 10 years, it's been all day and all night on the news. Climate change is a global warming trend. Climate change. Global warming. Climatic changes. Climate change. Climate change is real. Climate change is coming to blow up your house and eat your dog. rain falling a few weeks later than it otherwise would can affect when the streams are full, which changes when the plants bloom, which changes when the insects hatch, and that could affect historically synchronized pollinization of crops and fish spawns and bird migrations and water supplies for drinking and irrigation. <laughs> probably wondering why your ice cream went away. Well, Susie, the culprit isn't foreigners, it's global warming. Global wapu? Yeah. Meet Mr. Sunbeam. He comes all the way from the sun to visit Earth. Hello, Earth. Just popping in to brighten your day. La 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 la. And now, I'll be on my way. Not so fast, Sunbeam. We're greenhouse gases. You ain't going nowhere. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh, God, it hurts! Pretty soon, Earth is chock full of sunbeams. They're rotting corpses heating our atmosphere. <laughs> How do we get rid of the greenhouse gases? Fortunately, our handsomest politicians came up with a cheap, last-minute way to combat global warming. Ever since 2063, we simply drop a giant ice cube into the ocean every now and then. 
just like Daddy puts in his drink every morning. And then he gets mad. Of course, since the greenhouse gases are still building up, it takes more and more ice each time. Thus, solving the problem once and for all. But once and for all! amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere by burning coal and gas and oil and jet fuel. And we also really like to destroy natural carbon sinks like the Amazon rainforest. And then in the place of those rainforests, we like to put other things that produce greenhouse gases, like cattle. And here's the kicker. The Earth has seen these massive increases in carbon dioxide concentrations in our atmosphere in the past, and every time, it's been a complete disaster. What scientists can't completely agree on is what nightmare apocalypse scenario is going to get to us first. Or, you know, I guess they could all, all of them happen all at once. Like, there's always that. One. <laughs>